Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving back into a super exciting project. I'm going to be finishing painting my car. This is going to be a detailed step-by-step -step guide, so whether you're a pro or a newbie, this video will have something for you. And stay tuned because in a future video, I'll show you how to polish the paint to get that professional finish. Let's get started. The first step in any good paint job is preparation. This means taping off all the areas we don't want to paint. I'm using automotive masking tape and plastic bags to cover the windows, light, and trim. With the car taped, it's time to prime. Primer is crucial as it helps the paint adhere better and gives us a smoother finish. I'm applying an even coat of automotive primer over the entire surface. Now the exciting part, painting. I've chosen a green Rust-Oleum spray paint for my car. Remember, multiple thin coats are better than one thick coat. This helps prevent strips and ensures a smooth finish. After letting the paint dry, it's time for the clear coat. This layer will protect the paint and add the glossy shine. Just like with the paint, thin, even layers are the key. Now we're going to move over to painting the bumper. First things first, we need to remove the bumper. This makes it easier to paint and ensures a more professional result. You don't need many tools to do this. All I used was a 10 millimeter socket with a Phillips head screw and a flathead screw to get out any of the clips. With the bumper off, it's time to clean and sand it. This helps the paint adhere better and gives us a smoother finish. I'm using a mild detergent and a fine grit sandpaper to hand sand for this step. You can prime, but I chose not to. So I chose a black color that matches a army looking color with the green. Remember, thin even layers are the key to a great finish always. Then after the paint has dried, it's time to apply that clear coat. This will protect the paint and give it a glossy professional look. So here's my bumper before and after. Here's the before on my passenger side and the driver's side. And then here's after I painted and did the trim. I am loving my army vehicle. Remember to stay tuned for my next video where I polish and finish the back of my car and the top because I have not gotten to that yet.